from? Wow, I tell you, that was a great right hook. Stepping into the ring, ladies and gents, Hadika Abdul. And introducing her opponent, fighting out of the blue corner from Millennium Martial Arts in Northumberland, it's McKenna Wade. Ladies and gents, fighting out of the blue corner, McKenna Wayne. Great to have the ladies in the ring this evening. Red corner, Hadika Abdul. And her opponent from the blue corner, McKenna Wayne. Three two-minute rounds of K1 action matched at 54K. Hadika Abdul from the Pride Gym in the red corner. McKenna Wade, Millennium Martial Arts in the blue. Ever so slight height advantage for Abdul as Pete Richardson gives the final instructions to these two ladies here at Victory 6. Three superb bouts already. This bout for... So we're ready for round one of three. Abdul just pushes out the jab in the low rear leg round kick. Wade, tight guard. High round kick from Abdul. Looks for the inside leg this time with the low kick. Mixing it up already. Looks to put that high kick in, and you can see Wade waiting to see what she does before responding. Looking to counter Abdul. Then comes forward, left and right, looping right hand, just misses the target. Tightens the guard now, Abdul. And immediately responds to the low kick from Wade. Throws her own midsection kick, looking to keep that range. She's a slightly taller, rangier boxer. There's the doubling up of the front push kick, trebling up of it to keep that range. A little smile there, then the round kick. And the kick again, keeping that range. The left hook finally lands from Wade, but Abdul getting through with her own boxing. Push kick this time from Wade. Abdul tight guard, focus, throws the right round kick high. Looks to close the gap quickly, Wade, and that's what she's got to do when she decides to come in. It's got to be fast. And decisive. Probes with the jab, throws the low kick, checked by Abdul. Abdul looks for her own low kick, thinks better of it. Wade closes the gap quickly again. Overhand right, clubs the top of the head of Abdul. Then the round kick blocks, but she looks for the boxing over the top of that round kick. Stiff jab, Abdul replies with the left round kick. Backed up in the corner though. Wade just slipped there as she came forward. They break. Wade again, keeping that centering, throws the stiff jab and then straight right to end. Not much between them. Again, victory six. 
superb matchmaking. Not much between these two young ladies at all as they get to figure each other out in this opening round. A little left, straight right lands cleanly and just missed with that overhand right. Wade set it up with those first two shots. There's the looping hook and then the little switch from Abdul that made that right hand miss. But you can see the way that Wade, when she decides to come in, comes in very quickly. There's the right that landed to the top of the head. The left look to set up the second right, and then she comes in with the high head kick blocked by Abdul, and immediately follows with the boxing over the top. Excellent technique, superb combinations. Two of three. Abdul fate the lead leg. And again, Wade looking to close the gap quickly. But to drop the axe there. Abdul but had to take a round kick and then a jab cross combination. And looks to punch high and you could see Wade waiting. She lets Abdul initiate and then comes in. Looking to stay in the pocket now and test the resolve of Abdul there. And Abdul not found wanting. Throwing back equally with her back to the ropes. But with K1, the fighter that takes that centre ring, that looks to be pushing forward, you've got the edge in the judging. One of the criteria is the aggression. And it's Wade that is pushing forward. Round kick from Wade as she pushes forward again. Abdul waiting, looks for the push kick, but doubled up from Wade. Stalking now, and you can see that Abdul happy to take a shot and respond. She responded twice with that right hand. Wade pushing in once more. Push kick from Abdul to keep the distance. The left and right through the channel. And they mix up the boxing once more. Right round kick just out of range from Wade. Abdul nicely off the centre line for that right hand. Stepped outside the right foot of her opponent through the right hand. Beautifully done. Wade remained composed though. Didn't let it phase her. Push kick again from Abdul. Round kick left and right from Wade as she stays in the pocket once more. Nice little hook to the body. Looking to keep that pressure on Abdul. And it's little moments like that that I think catch the eye for the blue corner. Now, Abdul looking to stay in the centre of the ring. Good close contest. Personally, on my unofficial scorecard, I've got Wade edging it, and she stays in the pocket here. She's the aggressor. She keeps the pressure on. Good right hand in reply from Abdul. She's certainly not passive. She doesn't stay there and take it. She fires back. But it's Wade asking the questions, the little right to the body. There, that beautiful right hand from Abdul stepped off the centre line. But again, as the round ends and the judges are wondering who to give it to, this last even 20 seconds can be so important and it's Wade pushing forward again. K1 aggression and it's Wade there. Third and final round and a huge round. Could do it for either boxer. Nice sportsmanship there as we go into the third. Double jab, straight right from Wade, but oh, Abdul responds beautifully with that right through the channel. Standing and treading, look, countering now. She waits for the right leg from Wade to throw the right hand back. Oh, but that left hook over the top. Classed as a slip, our referee Peterson right there. Pushing forward again, Wade, but look, Abdul stands her ground and fires back. Little feint there from Abdul. Steps off the line to the left this side, outside the right leg of her opponent. But Wade has a way of staying in the pocket, staying close. There you go, but she's got to watch that right hand because Abdul is putting venom into her shots now in the third here and staying in the pocket with her. And again, Wade pushes forward. Stiff jab from Abdul in reply. Looks for the right round kick. And then the solid right hand. Good technical contest from these two. Wade just pouring with that left, throws the right round kick. 
throws the left leg. Left hand, right round kick, bread and butter technique. Chopping a little right to the lead leg of Wade from Abdul. Wade the left and right, but look at the way Abdul responds immediately. Nice right there though from Wade as she comes forward. Chops at that lead leg of Abdul. Nice left to the body. Slips outside, does it again, and this time it's to the head. Beautifully done from Wade. Slipped outside that centre line to create the angles for those hooks. First to the body, then to the head. Chops at that right leg, and again, landing cleanly now. This last 30 seconds, the accuracy of Wade has played a big part here, and she keeps the pressure on. Abdul fires back, but for me, if there was any doubt before on my scorecard, that third round for me, especially the last minute from Wade, seals it in an excellent battle. Both very well schooled, both excellent. Abdul stood her ground the whole time. And really, I like this to fire back. But Wade started to pick her shots here. The rights and the lefts coming through. The right landed there again. Then the round kick, staying in the pocket, the right once more. Round kick to the midsection. There's the left hook. That, for me, is well, the deciding gents, factor on my unofficial scorecard. We'll see if the judges the agree with me. And McKenna Wade. But it was a superb bout. Some great Adika and McKenna should be so proud. From, uh, both fighters. But I've and got the an edge to Wade. This. A unanimous decision all in favour of the blue corner. Yes, McKenna good decision, right decision, but a Wade. great bout. What a mucker. And please put your hands together for her opponent, Hatika.